Hey, Chris Norris from Korg USA here, and in this video we'll be talking about setting up the GEC5 software for the very first time. I'll be using the Mac app, but if you're using the PC app, iPad, or Android app, the functionality, design, and layout of the software is identical. Before we set up the software, we'll have to make sure that all the student stations are connected to the main teacher unit. If you need help with that, please refer to our video entitled, Connecting the GEC Hardware. Once all the hardware is connected, turn on the GEC5 system using the toggle switch on the front panel of the teacher unit. If you're using a wireless connection, connect your device to the wireless network named Korg GEC5. It may take up to two minutes for this wireless network to appear on your device's list of available networks. Once you're connected, open up the GEC5 application. You'll start with the Room Setup Wizard. Click Next, then the GEC will automatically detect the number of student interfaces connected to your system. Make sure that the number of interfaces detected is correct. If a new interface is plugged in after initial installation, the GEC will automatically detect and add it, but the total number of stations cannot be lowered after this first setup. Once you've verified the number of interfaces, click Yes. On the next screen, you'll need to confirm whether or not you're using the GEC5's Split Stations feature. If your lab has one student per station, select the first option. If your lab will have two students per station, select the second option, which has twice as many students as there are interfaces. We'll talk more about the split stations feature in a separate video. Click Next and you'll be taken to the Room Layout portion of this setup wizard. Here you can click and drag the student station icons to match the physical layout of your lab. You'll want to arrange the students based on the perspective of the teacher's station. That way the app will reflect the setup from the instructor's usual vantage point. Once the room setup is complete, click Done. The app will then remember this lab layout for any other teacher who uses the app. If you click the link on the left, that will take you to the next video in this series in which we'll discuss customizing the teacher in class for each individual who uses the app. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, you can contact us at korg.com education.